Hey y'all, it's uh, now in the Spice Clips again, and uh, today I'm going to change the three wheel cassette on the rear wheel. Uh, both wheels on the bike are brand new, so uh, when I changed them out, I just put the old cassette on there and a new chain, and uh, well, the uh, cassette is skipping really badly because the chain was extremely worn, so therefore the cassette's worn too. Chain rings as well, so I, <clears throat> I went ahead and I purchased both of them. They just came in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, now I'm going to just do the, uh, the free will cassette, try to keep this video short. However, let's go ahead and we're going to take this, um, this rear wheel off. And what I'm taking off here is a, uh, a socket that is actually for a coated pit lock skewer. Um, I keep it around my neck because um, when I'm on the road, uh, if I do get a flat, I'm in deep doo doo without this coated pit lock. And with really expensive wheels, um, I need some kind of form of security to keep those locks there. I've got one on the seat, one on the handlebar stem, front wheel. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, undo the rear one now. First one is the brake cable. And then we'll go ahead and lift the wheel out of here. Making sure I don't hit my cadence. Uh, cadence thing here. Alright. Chain's still on there. That's okay. Chain like that. Got the wheel. And um, we need to take the skewer off to, to get the cassette off. So we've got our skewer off. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the three wheel cassette. Alright, I have my rear wheel here. Um, Make a chain tool and all that. It's like they make this tool too uh, for Shimano uh, free wheels. And you go on a site and look at it, it says fits most Shimano free wheels. Um, doesn't fit mine, which is typical, right? Um, but it goes in just, just enough. It's a, Catch the catch the teeth and the, you hear that sound. That's actually the nut on the free wheel coming off, not the, the tool slipping. So it just just goes in there and takes the nut off. You should have problems. You can also use a pair of uh, channel locks. Go ahead and. Remove it completely. This is these are really fine machine threads, and there's not much of them. There's only a few on there. Let me just clean this off. Hopefully you can see that. Very fine machine threads. That's your nut. Those are the little teeth in it that the uh, mono tool is supposed to fit. And this should drop right in there, you know, but it doesn't. Okay, so I'll go ahead and take this nut off now. And I guess that. First three rings on a nine, nine ring cassette come on. Additionally, there's a spacer. So those go like that. And when they go on, um, there's one notch there that's smaller than the others. And on this free wheel, there's also one notch that is smaller than the other. So this doesn't really matter which way it goes on, but as long as the, as the notch is fit. This doesn't have a small notch. Okay, there's a small notch. 
So it's going well. Do it the right way, dude. Yeah. And each one is marked with the, the number of teeth on it that's going to be facing up. So, um, yeah, that's how they come off. So we'll just go ahead and take the old one off. Got my new, um, new cassette here. We'll go ahead and uh, unpackage it. This is the new 9-speed uh, Shimano that I'll be putting on the, on the freewheel here. Let me first uh, figure out how they got this thing together here. There we go. Um, hmm, a little bit different. This one's three, uh, three gears that are all together. So again, I have, I have that pointed right from the way I'm working on it. I have it pointed right at 12 o'clock. So, um, take these down here, and this is also three, we got the key, the small key goes in here, and it's all o'clock, that fits on there, the new spacer, let's see, make sure this one isn't keyed, okay, so it's, it's just going to go on there, it doesn't have a small key on there, so with um, teeth markings facing up, keyed for me, is uh, 12 o'clock. I'm saying, yeah, difficult to see. Keys on it, uh, key size on the top. 12 o'clock. Can't see this. I'm looking from the other way. Okay, 12 o'clock. It's on there. And we've got our new nut. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, grease on the nut, and just the threads, that's all. Not a lot, just a little bit. Working into those threads. Good to have a little bit of grease on there, so next time I'm going to take it apart. Now, in all the, um, the literature and everything, you tell you got to make sure you're getting this thing straight on. Um, you know, the, the threads you're connecting. Uh, that's not always an easy thing to do when you're dealing with machine threads, so. Like I said, this tool doesn't really fit, but it's enough to capture it. What I'm going to do is spin it the wrong way, a couple of turns, trying to hold that nut level with the surface of the... Okay. Right there. If you listen to this while I push down on it, You'll hear the threads snap together. You hear that? That was that's the two threads as they're going backwards. They're going like that. That's right. They drop. They drop like that. And then when you turn them the right way, they'll go right in, and they it should just spin right in. If it, do, if it doesn't spin right in, if it, then it's it's cross threaded, and you're going to screw it up. The only thing I'm going to do is get this hand tight with that because the force of um, when you apply chain pressure on there keeps all this, it's going to tighten it up. So that's, that's your freewheel installation. A uh, little bit of grease helps, making sure that nut is not cross threaded. I'm going to go ahead and um, put this back on the bike, put the pit lock skewer back on it. Um, let's do that. Alright, so I have the wheel here. I am going to have, go ahead and put my skewer in there. And my skewer has always been, already been greased, so um, a little spring. Got the actual tension um, washer or whatever. Got that. There's a Teflon washer in there as well. Luckily, it stays. And then the uh, the coated pit lock or a pit nut. I'll put that on as well. I want to get it just tight enough to fit the O-ring on there. I'll do that. 
pit lock skewer on there now. Let's just um, this in here. I gotta be careful with the Cadian sensor. And the chain is on the top right. Pull the derailleur out of the way. I'm not catching my fingers on the chain. And you know, baby. And then we're in there, right? Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> and so it goes. So the uh, wheels in there are tight. Take the pit lock socket. My trusty necklace. You could also use an Allen wrench, and in these they have a little hole, but I don't. I'd prefer not to put it on that tight. So. Looks good. Okay, so that's the uh, freewheel cassette installed on the bike. Everything seems to be in order from what I could check. Um, that's it for this one. I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, chain rings out in the next video. Alright, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.